My colleagues at the dais, distinguished guests, dear friends. We have convened here this evening for a double and a triple goal in order to thank, to congratulate, and to wish. First of all, the vote of thanks. Thank you, Professor Yitzhak Apeloy, for eight years as president of the Technion, which you have fulfilled with great success. Quite a few difficulties you had to face, but you coped with them well. You had a lot of obstacles throughout your way, both from within and from the outside. Your leadership uh, that was put to the test has uh, been seen as wonderful, exemplary, as deserving honor and appreciation. The great test of a leader is perhaps in the fact that you had to make decisions that were not always that popular. However, the dedication to the Technion, the anxiety and the care to its future were the ones that led you in your decisions, and they are the ones that are worthy of all the appreciation. We, I, and together with me, all the members of the Council, would like to express our deep appreciation to the way in which you fulfilled your task our gratitude for your achievements and our thanks for everything that you did. Thank you, Yitzhak. And a special vote of thanks, the wife, the spouse, Tsipi. In fact, you were Ezer Kenegdo. You were the woman not just as the one to accompany him on ceremonies and festive events, but also and maybe mainly in the daily accompaniment, in the good advice, in the help and the moral support when there was need in order to encourage him and the continuous efforts of Yitzhak, both in health, uh, that was not always so easy either. Thank you, Tsipi, for your wonderful, dedicated, constant help. The congratulations to the new president of the Technion, Professor Peretz Lavi. As uh, we already heard uh, by the chairman of the board, the search committee that was established a year ago during the meeting of the board looked into quite a large number of uh, deserving candidates, very good people who expressed their willingness to take this very important position. After a meticulous process, the committee found it fit to recommend the appointment of Professor Peretz Lavi to the position of the new president of the Technion. In with the uh, council decided to adopt this recommendation and to appoint Professor Lavi to this position. Out of the recognition of his experience, his great achievements, both in the academic world as well as the administrative one, out of the faith and security that he will be able to continue to lead the Technion and maintain its status as the supreme academic institution in the State of Israel and improve its status in the international community. Our congratulations are with you, Peretz, all the best, and we as the members of the Council will listen to your reports, we will hear your plans, we will test your suggestions, we will make our comments when they are needed, but beyond everything else, I want to assure you that our main task is to stand at your side and to help you and the members of the Council to fulfill your very important mission in order to obtain the challenges and the goals that you, in your vision, already presented to us. Congratulations to you, Peretz.
And I shall conclude with wishes to all the Technion, the students, the faculty, the administrative administration, and all the friends and all the friends of the Technion in Israel and abroad, thank you for your constant support. And I wish you that we will all be privileged to continue to see in the next few years the continuous prospering of the Technion for the sake of the State of Israel and the academic community in the entire world. I wish all of you many good years and happy holidays. Thank you very much.